some of our ladies end up getting some breast tenderness when they start with silky peach cream. And I wanted you to just explain a little bit more about how that happens, why it happens, and how that can be resolved. So we know that there's a very strong relationship between estrogen and our breasts. Um, there are receptors for estrogen all throughout our breasts. Over the years, um, we t will have, have stored estrogen um, in our body, um, just as we will have stored other hormones. And those hormones sit in fatty tissue. So if we do have areas of, of fat accumulation, which is common in breast tissue, um, just that tiny little bit of estriol can stimulate some estrogenic response. Um, mm. If we've got estrogen stored in our breast tissues, it, just a little bit of estriol can um, prompt that um, swelling and growth of uh, breast tissue, and they can get that familiar sensation of uh, tenderness. So is this something that as their body adapts to that input of estriol should just level out on its own? For some women it does, but I'm always going to come back to um, we're after balance. That mm -hmm. kind of reaction is usually in response to an imbalance between estrogen and progesterone. Mm -hmm. um, adding just that little bit of estriol can be enough to create a sense of imbalance where you have too much estrogen and not enough progesterone. So what we want to do is work out, do we need to add a little bit of progesterone just to balance that out? Always what we're after is balance. We want to have enough, but not too much. Mm -hmm. um, and for many women who, particularly who are, you know, many years post-menopause, they, they don't have enough of either. So yeah. adding just a little bit of estriol to solve this area of um, vaginal health um, needs to be balanced by a little bit of progesterone. That makes a lot of sense. 